strawberries, and scribbles. Look at all the strawberries, cried Justin and Jesse together. They had been playing in Justin's backyard and just walked into the kitchen. Both of their mothers were moving around in the kitchen getting pots and pans and jars and lids ready. All around them were piles of huge red strawberries. It was strawberry time. They were going to make strawberry preserves. Yummy, can I eat one? Please, begged Justin. Ooh, I want this one. It's ginormous. Here's another big one for you, Jesse. Thanks, Justin, she said as she bit into the ripe red berry. The juice trickled, trickled down her chin. Jesse giggled. Mmm, this is so good. All right, you two, I need you both to start washing the berries in the sink, okay? Justin's mom told them. Okay! The two kids climbed up onto the step stools and started rinsing the strawberries with water. Some of the berries were already pretty clean, but others had mud and dirt on them. Yuck. Ew, we don't want any of that in our strawberry preserves, said Justin. Justin's mom laughed. You mean preserves. Yeah, that. Justin laughed too. Then he asked, what are preserves anyway? Jesse's mom answered, it's like jam. You can spread it on your toast for breakfast or even make peanut butter and strawberry preserve sandwich. Jesse scrunched up her face. Um, isn't it easier just to say jam? She asked. You think so? Hmm, let me try it. Jam. You're right, that is much easier to say, Jesse's mom replied with a wink. After a while, the kitchen started to smell like sweet strawberry jam. The berries bubbled as they cooked on the stove. Justin's mom added sugar and stirred the berries in the pot. Justin watched as she stirred. Hey mom, he said, how come it's called preserves? What does that mean? Well, Justin, when you preserve something, you keep it from being ruined or spoiled. And in this case, I'm preserving these strawberries by cooking them up with sugar. That keeps them from spoiling. And they last a long, long time. So we can eat them later in the year when there aren't any fresh strawberries around. Hmm, I can't wait. Come on, Jesse, let's go draw for a while. I'm gonna draw a hundred strawberries. Justin jumped down from his stool and ran into the family room. He grabbed some crayons and started drawing. Help me with my strawberries. You can come and draw on that side of the paper. I'll draw on this side. Jesse sat beside him and began to draw her strawberries. Hey, I know. Jesse had a great idea. Let's make this into a card for our moms. It can be a thank you card for making the strawberry jam for us. Yeah, we can make it real neat, agreed Justin. Pretty soon it was time for lunch. Justin and Jesse ran in the kitchen to eat. They were in a hurry. They already drew all the strawberries on the picture, but they still had to put some green leaves on them. Mom finished feeding Ellie and let her down from the high chair to go play in the family room. Ellie liked to sit at the little table and color with her big crayons. Can I taste the jam, Mom? asked Jesse. Oh, me too, chimed in Justin. Sure, come on over here and I'll get some spoons. Jesse's mom dipped the spoons into the jam and let it cool a bit. She handed the spoons to the kids. Delicious, they said. Now we have to go finish our drawing. We made it special just for you, said Justin. Jesse and Justin ran back to the family room where they were drawing at the little table. Suddenly, they stopped and stared in horror. Oh no, there sat Ellie with her big purple crayon scribbling all over the lovely red strawberry picture that Justin and Jesse had worked so hard on. Ellie, no, yelled Justin. He could feel the tears coming to his eyes. We made that for mom. What's the matter? Mom hurried into the family room. She could tell something was very wrong. Ellie ruined our picture, Jesse explained. We left it here and we went to eat lunch and then we came back and she was coloring all over it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sure Ellie didn't know it was yours. 
If you want to make another one, though, I can bring Ellie back into the kitchen with me so she won't do it again. Justin and Jesse sadly agreed. They sat down and started all over again. They both knew that Ellie didn't do it on purpose. After all, she was only two years old, still just a baby. Finally, Jesse colored the last green leaf on the picture, and they both wrote their names on it. They tried to remember how to spell thank you and wrote it the best that they could. Mom, they said together. Both moms turned and said, yes, at the same time. It was kind of funny. The kids handed their picture to Justin's mom. Why, how beautiful, thank you. How about if I put it up on the fridge so little Miss Ellie doesn't color on it again? We can preserve it that way. Huh? Our picture only has pretend strawberries, you know? You can't make jam preserves out of it. Justin explained. I know that, silly, said Mom, as she gave Justin a hug. But to preserve something also means to keep it safe so it doesn't get ruined or destroyed. Hey, you know what, said Jesse's mom? That reminds me of the king that we were reading about in the Bible yesterday. You remember, don't you, Jesse? Daddy read about King Jehoiakim? Oh yeah, he didn't like God's word, so he cut it up and threw it into the fire. He got all burned up, said Jesse. What, that's terrible, replied Justin. What did God do? The same thing as you did after Ellie ruined your picture, said Jesse's mom. He told Jeremiah, the prophet, to start over again. And he did. God's word is very important and God won't want anybody to destroy it. He preserves it and makes sure it stays safe so that we can all use it to learn about him. Wow, I like the Bible. I'm glad God preserves it for us. But you know what, asked Justin. I'm hungry for strawberries. Mom laughed and said, why don't you come help us make some strawberry shortcake for dinner? Yay, shouted Justin and Jesse as they grabbed their step stools. They like strawberry time. <laughs>